François Mitterrand took seriously his role, went to see everyone, and uh, we did it actually only him and me. We were alone in planes around you know, those, those six months. And one of the issues was the discussion not of the British rebate, but of a continuation of the British rebate, because the British rebate was unfortunately decided by Mr. Giscard d'Estaing to get an agreement in order to be re-elected in, 70, in, in, in 80. It was in order to be re-elected that Mr. Giscard d'Estaing considered that silly agreement with the British, and we were in phase of that. And actually, uh, you will find the minutes of the discussion in one of my books, Verbatim Number 1, where you will see that Mrs. Thatcher was asking for something like uh, 2,000 acres, and it, she ended up crying, crying, in the middle of a meeting, accepting, begging half of it. Uh, and this is said uh, in detail in, in, in the historical minutes. When Margaret Thatcher came back from that summit in Fontainebleau, it was very much painted as a victory that she got Britain's money back. So that isn't how you see it. It was a defeat because uh, she was coming there to get, uh, to get uh, twice as much as she has got. And she was a defeat because she was uh, hoping to get uh, the Germans on her side uh, in order to, to isolate the French presidency. But the Germans say no to Mrs. Thatcher at the uh, last minute during the session, and she, uh, she was defeated. Uh, actually, she, she cried, and uh, she was even... Mitterrand told me she's broken like a piece of glass. And she actually was... I was surprised to see that. She was really broken when she accepted the, the final deal. But actually it took uh, one-fifth of a summit. Many other more important issues were, were at stake. So not quite the Iron Lady then? She's an Iron Lady for many issues, but on that she was discussing for actually a very small question. I mean, Europe has nothing to do with British rebate. N Europe has nothing to do with British rebate. is a tiny issue in Fontainebleau. Fontainebleau is a very important strategic summit. The, the whole of the Europe avenue towards the euro was opened by Fontainebleau. It was opened, the, 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 that was the decision of a single market. It was an historical decision that was taken in Fontainebleau. And then the, the, that was an embarrassing appendix of the Fontainebleau summit, the British question. Embarrassing appendix of the Fontainebleau summit. So do you think it was a mistake to actually give Britain its rebate? Yes, it was a mistake in, 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 uh, by Mr. Giscard d'Estaing uh, in, in the 80. Of course, it was a mistake. Uh, but after that, it was impossible not to give up, a, I would say, a tip. Because the final result, we consider that as a tip. Do you not accept the arguments, though, of the British at the time that they were paying far too much into the budget uh, than they were getting out and that uh, you in France were getting a lot out of the agricultural uh, money and that there needed to be some kind of rebalancing? Well, that's a, a philosophical discussion about uh, what uh, the European Union is. For Mrs. Thatcher, the European Union is a club. You pay a fee or a membership and you get what you have for your membership. It is not the point of view of the others. Uh, uh, your, your opinion is not a club. Uh, only Mr. Klaus thinks like that today. The Czech uh, president. Yeah, that's the only one. It's finished. It's an it's a old, uh, obsolete point of view of, of Europe. Europe is not anymore a British club. It's a, it's a political entity. Do you think what happened in the run-up to Fontainebleau and the summit itself was a symptom of Britain's relationship with Europe? Uh, or did it actually condition the future? Did it sow the seeds of resentment? Well, it conditioned the way the British were in and out of the European Union. And uh, as always, Mrs. Thatcher, as the other British leaders uh, were using the same uh, strategy. If you cannot beat them, join them. That was the British strategy uh, on that question, as, as on many others in European issues. But did it create uh, uh, the seeds of resentment for the future? Is it, it, was, it was an embarrassing begging for a tip. And then we consider that as an embarrassing begging for a tip. And then we give them half the tip that she was requesting, and we went on to very more serious issues. <music>